I'm Julie Boatman. I'm editor-in-chief of Flying Magazine, and I'm here today with Carlos Brana, who is the executive vice president for Civil Aircraft Programs with Dassault. And we're going to take a walk around on the Falcon 6X, which is undergoing flight tests right now, and is an exciting moment in its, um, in its development. And we're look, going to look and talk about some of the aspects of the airplane that you as a pilot might want to see. So good afternoon, Julie. Thank you first for coming and passing by to see our airplane. Yes, you're, you're right. It's a very interesting moment today. And uh, let's let's go and walk around the airplane. Okay, now let's see. So as you can see, we have a winged airplane, mm -hmm. big wings, with uh, some very interesting items, mm -hmm. uh, which are in fact innovations uh, on our side. One of them being the, the flap arounds. The flap arounds uh, that we can see here, they change the aerodynamic of the wings, mm -hmm. which means that uh, you know the, the, the ratio between the lift and the drag is uh, changed, and which allows, for example, the airplane, when we are dealing with steep approaches, to be more horizontal, yes. and that allows the pilots to have a better visibility of the runway they are going to land to. Right. This is a, an innovation in the business jet area. Mm -hmm. Engines, Pratt & Whitney engines. Those engines are quite powerful, 13.5 uh, uh, 13.5 thousand pounds each. And as you can see, although it's not that clear from that angle, but we have a refinement in aerodynamics mm -hmm. with a, a smaller uh, cross section and the fuselage to respect what we call the area low, which allows uh, a reduction of drag when there is a change in the, in the diameter of mm -hmm. the uh, of the airplane. Yes. Of course, uh, a bay to receive the luggages and also an additional bay mm -hmm. to receive additional equipment. This one is not pressurized, okay. but this one is pressurized. And okay. you can access that bay during the flight. Excellent. And this as well? This is also an additional bay, unpressurized. Okay, excellent. The interest, so you know that the 6X is uh, a 5,500 nautical mile range. Mm -hmm. So this airplane can go, if we, if we take off from Orlando, mm -hmm. you can cover, I would say, half of Africa, the Americas, everywhere, North and South America, and you will barely reach uh, the Northern of Asia. Mm -hmm. But if you make one stop, you go all over the world. Nice. The, the highest interest of the airplane itself is the cabin, the cabin side. Uh -huh. The cabin size, uh, the cross section of the cabin is the biggest of any purpose built business jet. Mm -hmm. So uh, whatever you will find around here, uh, the, the diameter will be, or the cross section will be smaller than this cross section. Mm -hmm. Alors, of course, it gives to the passengers an additional comfort, mm -hmm. including when the airplane is crowded. Yes. So during, you know, we, we made a world tour mm -hmm. uh, that summer. And during uh, this world tour, we went up to 14 people on board and everyone has its own individual space, which made the trip quite comfortable. Right. Although the aircraft was really crowded. Mm -hmm. One element which is very important also, and particularly now, is connectivity. Yes. So we have inside the airplane uh, SATCOM with a KA band, which mm -hmm. allows a flawless connectivity. And it's very important for the people who are buying an aircraft as well, because it's a business jet. Yes. Business jets mean that you can do your business mm -hmm. while flying. And now in, the, in our times, doing business is also a lot of exchange through internet connection. Sure. So we have a very good connectivity inside. Mm -hmm. Another element, which is also a great element, is the noise. What is really mm. tiring when you are flying is the level of noise and also the cabin pressure. Mm -hmm. We here have a okay. cabin pressure, which is quite... Uh, the cabin altitude is low, but the cabin pressure is high because it goes 
Yes, you know, the reverse differential. Side. Exactly. So what we are seeing today is a cabin pressure of 3,900 feet at 41,000 feet. On the other end, the level of noise is uh, very comfortable, is whisper quiet. Let's say we have a reference which is the ATEX, considered mm -hmm. as the quietest airplane in the world, mm -hmm. and this one matches this quietness. The, the cockpit will be including uh, an easy four suite, avionic suite, Mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, the, the, the latest one we have developed, including a certain number of functions, mm -hmm. which are both linked to uh, a better awareness, whether it's, it's on the ground with a mapping, a 2D, 3D mapping of the airport, or during the flight, where you can have what we call, you know, the, the, the data link, the uh, SB in, mm -hmm. and you can see the surroundings the environment of the other airplanes yes. with their speed and directions. So, but Hervé will come out about that. He's a much better specialist than me. <laughs> Sounds uh, good. And of course, you, you are welcome to visit the interior. You will see the interior is very spacious, as I told mm -hmm. you before. Yes. And this is what, in fact, makes us the, the very selling point of mm -hmm. this airplane. Quietness, large cabin, mm -hmm. and of course, connectivity. Sure. And you have separate living areas yes. so that uh, you could have, you know, different configurations, including a galley and even areas of, for crew rest or not? We can, we can include a crew rest. Mm -hmm. uh, the, this 5,500 uh, nautical range requires a crew rest if you are using that yes. range. A lot of customers will not use that range. So they, depending on that, they will, uh, they will or not include a quest, but we have uh, a chorus which can be proposed. Mm -hmm. uh, you will see the traditional uh, arrangement of this, uh, of this uh, cabin is the three lounges. Mm -hmm. So the two first lounge uh, plus a private third lounge. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have uh, two, uh, uh, two lavatories, mm -hmm. uh, one uh, in front or just beside, uh, behind the cockpit and another one behind. Uh, the, uh, the last lunch. Well, I think we're ready to get on board. Thank you so much, Please, Carlos. Please, have a nice flight. <laughs>